Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix with another color grading tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how I usually do my color grading in both camera raw and in Photoshop. So this is going to be for those that have issues, color grading within the camera raw filter and also in Photoshop. So usually the hardest thing to do is color grading dark skin and I know that is really painful when it comes to color grading in Photoshop or even in camera raw. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily get a better skin tone for your dark skinned subjects or clients in Photoshop. So you can see the before and after. So basically what I did, I first of all made the skin tone a little bit more on the warm side. Then I had to color grade it to look like this. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you find the video helpful, I request that you hit the like button so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there i'm just going to delete the color grading group right here so that you can understand everything so if at all you have been working on the image including your skin retouching you have to create a stamp visible layer because without it you can't come you can't go back to the camera filter to do your camera raw color grading so always make sure i use the shortcuts if at all you're using windows so if at all you're using windows simply use shift alternate control e on the keyboard create a stamp visible layer so if i told you using windows shift alternate control e on the keyboard then if I told you, you're using mac you can use shift option command e on the keyboard and that is going to help you create a stamp visible layer that is going to enable us go back to the camera arrow filter to do our color grading process so when this is selected simply come to filter and they're going to come to the camera filter so usually in the camera filter what i tend to do is making sure that i have a balanced image regarding skin tone and i have enough contrast within the image or the skin tone areas so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to come right here and i'm going to come to my color mixer or color editor tool within the camera filter and come to luminance remember skin tones fall within the oranges so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to darken the oranges and you can see this tends to add contrast to the skin in this case then i also come back up here to my highlights and i simply drop down the highlights and do the same for my whites so usually when i transfer images from capture one after unifying the skin tone and making sure it is even they tend to lose out on the contrast so i come to the contrast and i simply push up the contrast and you can see this makes the image have a darker skin tone complexion than it was before but it is still more on the yellow side and we have to correct it within photoshop so next thing i tend to do in capture one is or rather in camera raw so i'm used to too much of capture one so what I do in camera row, I come to the hues and I play around with the green slider to see what color suit, suits best for me. That looks okay. And I come to the yellows and I just knock that up slightly in the hue slider. And I open it back into Photoshop. So in Photoshop, that is when I'm going to get the skin tone for this little girl. Remember? Like I said, she had a slightly dark skin tone complexion. So what I do, I come straight to my hue and saturation adjustment layer. And under this, I just go straight to the master. And I target the red straight away. So when I select the red color, I have the option which says lightness. And this is where most of the magic is going to happen or take, take place rather. So I just come to the lightness and I simply start dropping down the lightness. You can see that this gets the skin to look a little bit darker. Then I also come to my yellows and I basically do the same. And that really makes the skin look a little bit better. But as you can see, the image is still having a little bit more of the greens within the skin tone or those yellows within the skin tone. So in order to eliminate that, you can come to the hue slider and simply hue the yellows a little bit and come the saturation of the yellows and simply 
drop down the saturation of those yellows and that is going to make the skin look slightly better then we're going to come and create another selective color adjustment layer and under this we're just going to come straight to the reds and under the reds we're just going to basically take out the yellows from the reds and also come back to our yellows and simply reduce on the saturation and this makes the skin look a little bit better you can say before and after for our selective color then also you're going to come to the blacks of the image and simply intensify the blacks to make the shadows or the blacks a little bit richer and you're going to come and cool down the overall image by introducing some yellows towards the blacks then this looks okay but right now we just want to slightly whiten the dress and in this we're going to come back to our whites within selective color and we're going to come straight to the yellows you can see this helps eliminate as you're taking the slider towards the left hand side it helps eliminate the yellows that had caused a tint within the dress so just look at the before and after that's the before after before after and that helps eliminate those colors within the dress so you can as well come and create a second selective color adjustment like if at all you feel the dress has not been whitened enough and come back and deal this back down and that makes the dress look a little bit better and whiter so after we have done this uh the next thing i tend to do i'm just going to group this for the color grading by using shift and clicking on the bottom most layer for my color grading and pressing ctrl command g on the keyboard and you can see the before and after for the color grading in this case so after we have done this the next thing that we're going to do basically we're going to do some eye whitening so just come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply come to the master and simply take the saturation of the master up to when the image starts to get a little bit desaturated up around negative 82 then press ctrl or command i on the keyboard to invert that effect and i'm going to come under the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is zero percent and make sure the opacity and the flow is at hundred percent make sure that the blend mode is in normal and right here make sure you have white as a foreground color in order to reset if at all you have any other random color you can click on these two small boxes you can left click on those two small boxes or you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard or this arrow is going to switch between black and white so make sure white is on top and right now you can zoom into the eyes just like that and simply using the brush you're going to paint on the black mask to whiten the eyes you can say this is a better and more natural way to do your eye and teeth whitening so basically this is what i do when i'm trying to whiten the eyes so you're going to look at the image before and after for everything including the color grading i'm going to group this so this is the image before after before after so basically this is how i do color grade images in the camera filter and if i told you i found the video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating